pickled pot comes with a line follower at the front. If you look at it from underneath, you will see it has two line sensors. And from the top, you can have a good idea where the sensors are by looking at those two white dots. You can find lines to be printed on the GiggleBot store. Those lines are just wide enough for the sensors to fit over it. Let's see how we can code our GiggleBot to follow this line. In MakeCode, I have my blocks already loaded and I've set up a rainbow animation on the smile, plus a heartbeat animation on the micro bit, just for fun. When I press button A, I expect the GiggleBot to start following the line. All I need to do is insert the follow line block in here. Our line is considered a thick line because the two sensors fall over it at the same time. The standard behavior is that the GiggleBot will stop when there is no more line. Let's press button A and see how it works. I've printed a more complex line to follow, so let's see how the GiggleBot handles those curves. The GiggleBot handles that line like a pro. But now we're going to ask the GiggleBot to stop if there's an obstacle in the way. And for that, I will install the distance sensor. Back into MakeCode, I need to query the distance sensor constantly, so I'll do that in a forever loop. First, I'll drop in an if statement that will test if there's an obstacle. We have a ready-made block that tests for the presence of such obstacle, and it's perfect for our if statement. If something is 10 cm away or 100 mm away, we need the GiggleBot to stop following the line. So I only need to drop in a stop block in here. We are ready to transfer the code onto the micro bit and test it out. That worked nicely. We've covered the basics of the line follower. There is one more block that can be used, the test for following line. I could use this to change the animation on the micro bit, for example. If the robot is following a line, I'll leave the heartbeat going. And when not following a line, it will be asleep. In the More section, we have two extra blocks. A test to see if a black line is detected. You can also use it to detect white. And you can get raw readings from each sensor to code your very own line following algorithm. And there you have it, line following with the GiggleBot 